Well, like everything else in this country, everything is getting very expensive. Doesn't matter what it is, what you need, so you need to save your pennies where you can, especially the lifestyle that I have. Uh, you know, we got to save money for fuel and pots and everything else that can go wrong in a, in a lifetime of fishing and hunting. So I'm dusting off my old bait fishing equipment. I come to you from the great state of Maine. <laughs> Welcome to my shop this morning. Have some coffee. I gotta have a couple sips. You know, when I make these videos, it's when I sit down and take a break. <laughs> well, like everything else in this country, everything is getting very expensive. Doesn't matter what it is, what you need, so you need to save your pennies where you can, especially the lifestyle that I have. Uh, you know, we got to save money for fuel and pots and everything else that can go wrong in a, in a lifetime of fishing and hunting. So I'm dusting off my old bait fishing equipment. I have it, and I've, I've kept bait for, when I was younger, I, I, I started keeping bait when I was 18 years old, and I probably kept bait until my early, early 40s, maybe. Some, somewhere in that area. So I kept bait for a good 20 years anyways. Right here in that basement. And uh, I, I got a little humor here now. I got actually two things that's kind of funny. I never lost my bait. Let's, let's put it that right, right now. Never. But I, I caught a couple of videos on YouTube and it's a good thing you know, it would, be, it would be 50 years ago now, 40 years ago now. It's a good thing 40 years ago I didn't watch them videos. <laughs> because I never would have got into uh, keeping my own bait. <laughs> With everything, I have seen some of the most complicated fish tanks for keeping live bait that I could... I, I, I couldn't even imagine going through that much work to keep, to keep bait. It falls under keep it simple stupid again. I know we say that a lot on this channel. Keep it simple stupid. I'm telling you, when I was 20 years old, I did have two nickels to rub together. I had one nickel and I have to go to my neighbors and borrow his nickel so I could rub the two nickels together. All I kept in that basement was a cast iron bathtub. And when you bought bait, you went to someone else's house that had a cast iron bathtub in the basement. That was it. <laughs> or you'd go to a bait, you know, like a bait dealer. He had a tub in the corner. He didn't have what I've seen in these videos. I mean, complicated, comp and it, it, it falls under they don't want to change the water. That's what they're trying to save is not changing the water. Which is ridiculous to me. Like I said, all I had in that basement was one cast iron bathtub. I kept in October, not October, December, I would put 1,000 shiners in the basement every year. Whether I trapped them myself or I bought them. If I didn't have time for trapping, then I would buy them. And you used to be able to, back then you could buy a thousand shiners from a bait dealer in the bulk. You could buy them for $75 a thousand. So in the course of a winter, and, and back then I was ice fishing five days a week, taking weekends off. In the course of a winter, that was the only way to really be able to afford going ice fishing. And that's as calm, and I had an aerator. So we had a cast iron tub, we had an aerator. Every two weeks to every three weeks, I would change out half the water 
and then put fresh water in. That was as complicated as taking care of bait was 40 years ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> that brings me to now. <laughs> I'm digging out my old my old bait stuff. The only thing new in this pile is you see this big tank behind me. It's a 250 gallon water tank that I had given to me quite a few years ago. And we've been using it every once in a while like my daughter would lose power and with her family uh, and then they had a time when they were putting in a well. I would fill this thing up, haul it over to them, hook a garden hose to it, get gravity feed out the back of it and that would take care of their family for flushing the toilet. It's not cooking water, but for flushing the toilet. So, I'm putting this tank in that basement exactly where my old cast iron tub sat. Because where that cast iron tub sat, I brought down a water line, I put in a receptacle for power to run my aerators and all of that. And that's as complicated as this is going to get. There is one idea that I like and I'm going to try it that I have caught in some of these videos. It's taking a, uh, a submergible water pump and pumping the water through a filter sock and then gravity feeding it back into the tank to get rid of the uh, fish crap. And the reason that you change the water, and I'll still change the water here, that's not a big deal. I don't know what the big deal is to why they don't want to change their water out. They want to keep their water for months and months and months. It's not a fish aquarium. It's a live bait tank. <laughs> uh, even at the cabin when I go up ice fishing, I change out half the water every single day. Every single day I, I take out... Uh, Five gallons of water, I put five gallons back in every single day. Plus run an aerator. That bait is healthy, that uh, bait is, is full of spunk, and, and that's the way I uh, have always taken care of my bait. So I'll do the same thing here. Uh, it's the same thing I did 30, 40 years ago, it's, and nothing's changed. That bait fish sure hasn't changed. But anyways, that was the funny part. <laughs> While we're going, I got, like I said, I got two funny things. I did lose my bait one winter. But it wasn't my fault. <laughs> we, I used to have, I, like I said, I had, to, I had the tank in the basement. It was a cast iron bathtub. <coughs> and it was full right to the top with water. It was about 20 below zero, and we had a duck. One duck. So I said, that's too cold out there for that duck. So I went and got the duck. We had, right where I'm standing here, right where I'm sitting, used to be a pig pen. Uh, we had pigs, chickens, turkeys. We had everything you can imagine out here at one point. We had a horse. We had everything, you know, like I said, you can imagine, over, over the 40 years I've been living here. But anyways, that one duck, I brought him in the basement for a couple of nights because it was way too cold for that duck. So come the weekend, I got ready to go down and go fishing. And I looked in my bait tank, and there wasn't one bait. Not one. Not even a little one. <coughs> that duck had eaten 1,000 shiners in a couple of days. If you're not laughing right now, then you don't have a sense of humor for, for, for wilderness things. <laughs> I always imagine that that duck got in that tank. He's oh, I can hear water. So he finally got himself in that tank, stuck his head under water, opened his eyes up, and it was nothing but shiners. <laughs> So that duck was in hog heaven. <laughs> now, here's the funny, no, it's still funny. <laughs> the duck died. A day later, I went down in the basement to feed the duck. 
and, and the duck was dead. <laughs> so I guess even a duck can overeat. <laughs> he was deader than a doornail. And I didn't hurt him, I liked that duck. <laughs> even after he ate my thousand shyness, I just thought it was the funniest thing I ever saw. But anyways, <laughs> digging out these all my bait stuff. Uh, long story short, I'll take it up in another video. This one's gotten long enough. We don't have, uh, as far as I'm concerned, we don't have safe ice yet, but making plans for if we do. Uh, my plan is to put out a few beaver traps, and at the same time I'm putting out beaver traps, I'm going to put out these bait baskets. That way when I go, I got... I've actually got four or five bait ponds that I want to scout out and see if they've uh, still got bait in them. Good bait, you know, I, I want some good bait, so. Uh, but we'll get into that in another video. Long story short, I'm going to, as soon as the ice is safe down here in the stream, I'll be, tr be trucking myself up into it and uh, putting out some beaver traps and putting out some of these things, so. But what a crazy winter right now. It is. It's got to be 40 degrees. We had freezing rain last night. We got up this morning to a good three-eighths of an inch of, of freezing rain on, on absolutely everything. Now the sun came out. It's 40 degrees. Everything softened up. That's a great day to be working outside. So, <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the uh, duck story. So I'll see you guys next week. And... Uh, have a good night.